Hey everyone and welcome to another design video. This is going to be the first of my how-tos, I suppose you can call them, specs how-tos. And today we're going to look at not just designing the bandstand but also using elements such as raised and lowered areas and also keeping in some of the natural surrounds and making them into a feature. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide to um, use water in here as well as picnic areas and seating areas. Let's get started. So as you can see here, I like to use the tape measure and I, with the picnic areas, I like to make them five by five. You can make them a lot smaller, of course, but this just allows me to get the sort of things on the picnic rug that I like to get on. This is where I'm gonna use my first one. Let's watch it all come together. Okay, now that I've got that in there, I can take off the measurement and go look at where else I'd like one. I'm guessing I'd have one just over here. So we want to make sure to keep that oh, free for a bit of a walkway. So we'll come in another one about here. So five by five. Put the rug down. Of course you'd like to have um, enough room for people to mill around because you do end up having your whole town come out on the days that they have celebrations. That off. My third one back in here. I might just add a little bit of grass here so we can bring it out a bit further. I don't know what's going on with this guy, but I don't know if he can hear my music or something, but he seems to be having a little bit of fun. <laughs> of course, it's purely just examples. You can have whatever you like. You probably will want, you know, something in the background as well. We will be adding some trees, but we'll see how it all goes together. All right, so this final rug, we should have probably no further in than that. So, five by five. Now that I've got that in, before I go ahead and decide where I might want seating and all that sort of thing, I'm going to get my trees in because trees are a very important aspect of designing, especially if you're having a more nature centered area. Okay, so we have our seats. And if you haven't heard me say it before, I do like to just toss them down a bit and fiddle with the seeds where they are before burying them, just to get a good feel of where the trees are likely to come up. We're going to need a bit of an entry point up here so we can't block that off with a tree. Might do here. Not going to need a lot, it's not doing a huge area. Just a few to make sure that we get that aspect in there. So maybe three of those ones. We've already got one fine one sort of coming up here. <laughs> so we will try and blend that in. Bring it over right here. One between these guys. And 
and a couple of gum trees. I think I'm pretty happy with that placement. Just bury those in. There's my shovel. Right. There, it is there, right in front of my face. I'm going to leave it without grass for now, um, just to see how it looks. I may add the grass back in a bit later. And already with just this, you can see that it's starting to take on some life. Right. And that sort of plays all the way through, bringing the different aspects over. I think the only thing that we would need to do is probably grab one of these guys and pop it up front here somewhere too. I'm thinking... Maybe somewhere just here. Now, as far as trees go, we can do this several ways. If we're going to decorate with trees at the main entry area here, I would probably pop in some jacarandas. Um, I don't have any in just yet. I find that they are very dominating. So I'd like to just pair it back right now with everything else I want to get in there and then go, okay, is there a spot or two for the jacarandas that will fit? Maybe in the distance or in the background, but we'll see how it goes. With the picnic rugs, I can find my picnic stuff, my little kettles, my plates and stuff. I might have put them down in one of these crates. Yes, this is my little <laughs> muck around design area. There's the plates. that one in the wrong spot, didn't I? People can see it and they've also got like their tea that they can grab, some fruit. And you can throw some other sorts of foods and drinks down on here as well. one down here just to show they're all sort of sitting around um, though be, truth be told since we're actually trying to face towards the bandstand we more likely find it that these would go like here And here. Have a little entryway into the place to sit here and then we'd have all this stuff over here. of like that but you can set it up all sorts of, sorts of different ways so you can have it so it's um, like in the middle just a couple of people their little pot and 
food ready to go. And have some sort of decoration on this end here. We can bring it right on back. Make it smaller. To have a bit more of an in intimate sort of setting. If you understand my meaning there. Okay, let's grab those grass seeds and fill that in. And I'll leave it like this so that you can actually get to see how these different aspects can work out. All right, so we want to be able to get up here. Let's make a little bit of pathing for people to walk around on. You can leave it just wild grass, but if you want to make it so that they have, you know, something here that they can follow, it doesn't have to be anything too formal. It can simply be cobblestone. So this might go off to town wherever people are coming in from and then what we could do is just sort of dot around some little things like this little walkway so it sort of identifies it yeah okay we might be walking this way to get through the reason why I put that like that is because I'm going to do it over here as well so it's like a little um we can either put a bit of stairs or we can put a ramp on I do like playing with these ramps. <laughs> they are a bit new and a bit, you know, a bit of a novelty. But I don't think I like the how it looks like the square edge and then circle here. So probably negate that by kind of doing that. And Jess, I would want that. And it's just a matter of fiddling until it really gets to the point where you're like, okay, yeah, that's how I want it. Not too sure where I'm placing things just yet in here so I don't want to get too over the top with pathing. So I think we might just um, put it there like that for now. I dare say we'll end up with some sort of seating in here.
Okay, so we've got daytime again now, and we'll be continuing. I'm getting happy with these trees coming up the way that they are. Yeah, they just sort of pull right through the scene and even off into the background. On this side, you're going to have those pine trees going up as well. You're going to be able to see that from over this side with this one. It's just going to pull in the background and make everything come to life. All right, so what I wanted to do was make this a little bit of a water feature here. So we're going to put these water beds around. And I actually do want to use the water beds this time because I want that uh, edging to it, that framing aspect of it, um, simply because that's going to be a feature. It's going to be a water feature for everybody here that's hanging out. Drop some lily pads in. There we go. I might even get a flower too. We'll see. I'll probably put a seat here. That'll look quite cozy in there. And, ooh, I know. In the back there, we need... We need a fountain. We need some movement. Take this, um, I don't believe we can put them in the water. No, we can't. So, pop that in there. Look at that. We have some movement. Very nice. Let's bring that movement through. Let's bring it out to. Maybe here. yeah that sort of brings the movement out there and there we probably just need one in the background and that would be really good might be too much over to the right oh you're right need one more a different level oh hey i ran out of them okay i'm gonna go get a fourth one because i think it's important for this design now Okay, so we've got this fourth one now. I believe here with some height. Oh no, not quite right. You just see it's just kind of just a little bit too crowding. So I put it down a little bit. There you go. That extra bit of movement and the extra bit of texture where you're putting it on different levels has really suited this one. Okay. Now, how about some seating? I'm going to come over here and pitch a couple of these because I want them. like that there however it's not quite right I think we're gonna have some more flowers or something through there we are going to have this down here oh wait guys we're gonna put one forward because you know it's gonna look really good there all right come back out for a second bring that water element all the way through. Let's go up and use that background a little bit. Very nice. Oh. What do I have to get rid of you? You. That will do. So now it's starting to come to me. As I'm starting to get it together, and this is why I wing it a lot, why I don't plan too much, because I find that if I do it this way, it ends up looking a lot more natural. I'm just like, oh, that can fit in with that part. This can fit in with this part.
So awesome water features there. And you know what? This is the odd one out. This is the one we're going to take away. That looks a lot better now. Beautiful. Okay. Pop this couch back in. Kind of there. I like using these couches um, as an aspect outside as well because they have that softness to them from the texture of the cushions and everything. You have just the um, these metal ones and I'll show you. They're, they're beautiful and I really like them. They don't have that softness to them that this has that really complements this, this kind of area. Yeah. All right. Slowly coming together. And remember, this is just one of thousands of different ways that you could possibly do designing. I'm hoping that it just gives you that little bit of, um, little bit of ideas, a little bit of encouragement to really get in there with your designs. All right, at the back here, what are we going to do in here? Now I'm just going to use this for a second just to see what would fit in here. I think that's what we're going to do is maybe that and move that fountain Though it looks really good there it's going to be in the way so I'm thinking I'm going to move it to where did a little fountain go I'm blind I'm got designer blindness like this to end up there. I think it's going to be too close to this one let's move that one over Make sure that that still looks so okay. No, it does not. That really does need to come over this side. So I'm going to repop this one. Pop it there. All right. Let's grab some more of those couches, guys, and let's see what else I can think of. Okay, let's put these down here. And I think I do want it in that particular shape that I was thinking. So, where is my cobblestone? There it is. Make this little cobblestone area. Course we'll have something in here as well this is just a bit of a, a see on how we can use the multi levels around with the lower level there with the water features we've got this with the stunning background we good just have to get rid of this one even it up a bit actually I think I'll do this side There it is. Let's use a shovel. Okay. So we've got quite nice. Okay, let's start with the flowers and everything. Let me organize all of those. And that's a few different flowers. Let's get popping them in. Again, you want to be not so precise with this, a little bit more chaotic, um, just to make sure that it has that, that beautiful wild sort of look. trip over to it. <laughs> there we go. I do like these blue ones. I'm a bit, I get a bit carried away with them because I do like them so much. I love the flannel as well.
Okay, and maybe just a touch of hmm, orange, I think. Got a lot of cool colors through here, so a bit of warmth would be really nice. A bit of warmth. Again, that's using all the different levels that are around, naturally. To try and give it um, quite a bit more elevation to the design. Right, so that should be enough orange, I think, to pull through. Yeah, okay. We don't want to overdo it. I don't want every single square inch of the, of the place obviously covered in flowers, so but just enough to give it this pretty sort of aspect. And we've got yet to do the garden bit. So that's going to be a thing as well. Let's look at the different sort of things we can do at the front here to showcase the entryway. So we can do things like this. Which is kind of pretty, but I think they're too small. Like it needs to have this too wide element to it. Now whether it's going to be, you know, a couple of these, the different, the different, um, colored ones in there or because I don't like that at all I'm not a fan can we step it up a little bit let's go over and pinch some of this stuff that I was fiddling with over here just another couple of bit of water designing that I was doing just having a look around so we do have that marble and we do need to incorporate that marble elsewhere as well and that's going to come into it as well or we could use it as just a simply a center feature use either of these I'm thinking for the area that we're in not these funnily enough I like the pillars I don't know if I'll put anything on top of them but I do like the pillars let's set let's set just so sit there for a little while while we think about it and see how they go. So I don't want to take away from the simplistic beauty that we actually have going on here by putting something too grand in there. However, it is looking pretty good. Maybe not with these though. Maybe simply in the ground. See, now they need something up top there. No, I'm going to have to sit with it for a bit, guys. That one. I love how these look on the ground without planting them. They're so cute. Imagine these just dotted around. Alright, we'll leave that alone for a minute and we'll concentrate on these garden beds. Let's grab some of those ferns. Where are my fern seeds? I probably have them on me. Nope, there they are. Still a big fan of these ferns, absolutely. thinking keep it greeny all 
perhaps a copper wire in the background. Now we may use something dramatic to round it off with. Let's see what happens if we do this. Too much. Not quite the right style. Yeah, not quite the right style. Oh, here I go picking things up. Um, all right, let's pop in the blue and bring that on through. So I find that that is just too sparse in here. Like this is probably belongs more in a different environment. Like I would say putting these into here. A couple of birds of paradise in there. A couple of these in here. They look much better in the water, I believe. Okay. Pop them out. And bring in I also have the glowy ones. Can't forget about them. Not the pink. We haven't got any pink around. Maybe that that's what's been missing. certainly interesting trying to use the old and the new together, seeing how to incorporate them. Yes, yeah, so we've got a pretty little garden up here to have your picnic in. Coming on through to the water feature. And this will all be popped up soon, which will look really lovely. I think we are right in needing just a little bit of pink. to try and get some of these in. I don't have any red at all in this design at the moment. So I'm thinking we need to make that happen. We might be able to make it happen by doing that at the front. And then... We get up now. Yep. Okay. Having. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. So I've got some bottle brush seeds on me now. And what we want to do is we want to look at the front here. And as you can see, it's very centralized. So we're going to go diagonally outwards to the background. And that's where we want to sort of pop our red in to be able to draw that through. I'm going to go up on here near the water feature over here and we're going to pop one right here down it goes okay. and then this one was out to this way and it doesn't have to be on the same level so we're just going to pop it over here and that's going to bring that red back a bit a shovel, get that buried. And this one up here buried. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now, and I'm going to sleep for a few days to get the trees up, get the bottle brush coming out, and we're going to go from there as far as what else we'd want to add to this design. Okay guys, so we've done all the sleeping, 
um, and I can tell you already without having to go walk around or do anything at all that this tree right here is way too much it's blocking the view of everything behind it and it's just it's not very conducive to what you want so let's take that one out where's my chainsaw gone am I blind to my chainsaw did I put it down I put it down uh, there it is okay Get rid of this tree down with the tree my pockets of all put something down um i need them okay see how that frees up the view already so much might even go to say is to take this one down as well I do like the way it plays off the gum trees in the background. We'll leave that one there for now. But let's have a look a bit, a bit of a look around. Okay, so can you see now how we've got the two red hibiscuses at the top there of the pillars? But now when you look diagonally outwards, you can see a glint of the red behind that tree there and from the bottle brush over there in the corner. And it doesn't make the red seem out of place anymore. It actually makes it blend in a lot more and become more cohesive to the design aspect. I still feel like we need something here and here. I wanted to have a bit of a play with that. And I'm thinking maybe fountains of some kind or bird bath. I'm not too sure if those fountains are going to play nicely, but we'll find out. So we have some bird baths. Um, yeah. So have a look at the bird bath, although I think the fountains are going to be the one too. Yeah, they just, they're too, they're too small, they're too, not grand enough to really fight against the other big aspects that are in here. So let me just go grab a couple more of those fountains that we have in the background making everything move. And we'll see how they look. Okay. It looks nicer, but now as I'm looking around, I'm not sold on the pillars. I think they need to go. I think it was too much, too big. But as you can see, it does leave the fan stand here looking just a little bit lost or a little bit faded into the background. So we still need to bring that aspect out. And I'm thinking we might be able to do that. Just some simple glowies. Front. Keeping it low, but still now it brings your eye inwards to this area. So I should not at all take these glowing aspects out to any other part of the build. Otherwise it's going to make you lose the bandstand again and everything that it's going to be. So this is how our little picnic areas turned out up here. Problem number one that I see from here is this tree. Trees are fantastic to put around a picnic area, but it is blocking all view of the bandstand. And these guys aren't going to really have much of a good time, are they? So, did I put that away again? I did. <laughs> put my chainsaw away again. Let's go grab that out. And when we grab that out, we're going to put some stuff away. So that. Not running into this problem constantly. I don't think you're a designer unless you've got your bags full of <laughs> inventory full of everything. So we'll put this tree down. Put some grass leaves back in there. a fair bit nicer and I'm thinking I'm going to keep those trees mainly to the background so I do want to get rid of this one as well and I will get rid of the gum one here it ended up being just a bit too much 
This is the way it works when you're designing. You need to find the things that will and won't work for each space. I mean, I could do a flat leveled um, bandstand design again, and it would never be the same. It would again need its own unique aspects to it. That's a bit better. Okay, so we come up here, we've got our fountains, making it all look nice. Got our seating areas. We haven't built in here yet. And I don't think we're going to get away with using the hibiscuses in this area. I just don't think that they're going to be very complementative to what's around already. Let's pop a few of these in, unless we actually forego the ferns a little bit. Allow that red to pop there. Mm. I think I can make it work. Let's have a look. A little entryway. Two green, two, two different greens there. So what we can get to play off of this one. Okay, that might work. That might work. So we've got this white flower here and this blue one here. We just have to be a little bit careful about how we play the next few flowers. And I think it might be to bring in the hibiscus because they're completely different. Yeah, okay. These guys. Try and add in some of this. Look too bad. Ooh, we're a bit flashy there, I think so. I think what we're going to need there is a bush of some sort. And I just chucked my bush seeds away, didn't I? Yep. Try it this way. All right, cool. So that sort of fills up the garden bed without it clashing too much with the flowers that are already popping up around here. It's a little bit more manicured. Okay, and we wanted some more couches down in here, didn't we? Which I'll need to go get. Okay. Standing in the way. Now, we're not going to put one here because obviously we need the walkway to get around. And I think I'm going to actually fill that in so it's a bit more solid. Where is our cobblestone? Only one. Okay, need more cobblestone. <laughs> we'll go get that then. All right, get this cobblestone down. Oops. We could have a little ramp here, couldn't we? No, I don't really want one. I think it'll be a little silly there. Just doing it for a second there. Put the 
as grass seed down. I'm going to need a little thing in here. Let's put one of these in. See how it looks. Or we could save it for... We're going to need points of lighting. So we might save this little spot for a light. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll save it for a light. However... Cute little tree there. Quite nice. Got those in there. I feel like it's coming together quite nicely. Well, guys, that sort of gives you a really good idea of the different sort of aspects that we can do here as far as incorporating different levels. You don't have to use cobblestone, you could have gone to my more high end by putting in some marble or some pattern carving. Um, and you could have also done a, like a completely different look by putting the wooden or iron benches in instead of the softer material ones now as far as our lighting goes let's have a look if we've got any on us one of these a lot of garden lights which i probably would use more of i think that's a lot softer let's have a look at how these play together So we've already got the glowing from there, but we are going to need something at the back here. Some garden lights back here. run out of garden lights we did there they are one down in there So we've got our lighting in now guys and I think that finishes it off quite nicely. Let's have a look at it at night time.
All right, guys, well, I think we'll leave it there for today. If you have any questions or comments, any suggestions, or if you want to learn about something in particular, please just leave a message either on this video or hop into my Discord and we can all have a chat about it. All right, guys, stay amazing.